What a joy it is to look out upon an island of sanity in a world of madness. We gather here today because a dangerous disease, a deadly disease, is sweeping across this land and across this world. And it's not COVID-19, it is fascism! Fascism justified by the illusion pandemic of COVID-19. A virus, I must give it credit, is so well equipped for every eventuality. You must not go nearer than six feet to another person to protect you from the virus. So now it's got a bloody tape measure. You must not stay with anyone outside your bubble for more than 15 minutes. Now it's got a bloody watch. <laughs> and uh, we are going to make masks mandatory, but not until the end of next week. Now it's got a bloody calendar. <laughs> that it only infects those taking part in protests the government wants to stop. Why is it nonsense? Why can anyone with half a brain cell on activity see or active duty see that it's a nonsense? Because they are making it up. So, so why? Why are they doing that? Well, I can answer that with a, another point, another question. How could I have predicted current events decades ago? How could Aldous Huxley have done it in the 1930s? How could George Orwell have done it in the 1940s? Simple. Current events are not random. They have not just happened. We are seeing a long, long planned agenda rolling out in a script. And it is destined, if we do not stand up now, to end with the total global subjugation of the human race, not least technolo technologically. We now are standing at an amazing point in history where we are at a fork in the road. If we go on allowing the psychopaths to dictate our lives, this is not going to end well. But if we remember, remember where the power is, then this can, this can end in a dramatically short time. The power is with us. Percy Shelley understood this when he wrote 200 years ago, his all oh, so appropriately named the Mask of Anarchy. Rise like lions after slumber, even vanquish a bone number. Shake your chains to earth like dew, 
which in sleep have fallen on you. Ye are many, they are few. And those words were written in 1819, and so much of humanity still has not learned the lesson. This, this whole subjugation and imposition of fascism on the human race worldwide is being run not by health professionals even, but by psychologists. Just down the road there, yards from where we are, is the yeah. British, the British government's uh, cabinet office owned private company called the Behavioural Insights Team. And its job is simply to study human psychology and then to play out what it's learned to re-modify the behaviour of the population. And they are focusing on our kids more than anyone. Stop back! Stop back! Stop back. What? What they don't want us to know, the biggest mind trick they play on us, is this. They want us to believe that authority has power. Authority has no power. a few weeks ago, there was no chance of unsocial distancing. So they were sitting together in their thousands. The local authority declared a major incident. Okay, declare it. But what are you going to do about it? Well, there's nothing we can do, is there? There's too many people that won't obey. Exactly. controlled by a tiny few people because of a simple sequence of imposition and acquiescence. All the way down the pyramid, imposition, acquiescence. The next level acquiesces and imposes on the next level and then it goes down to us, the people. And if we acquiesce to that level of the hierarchy, that seeks to impose on us, i.e. government, police, then we complete a circuit between the tiny few in the shadows and the entire global population. And that circuit means that a tiny few impose their agenda on billions of people. How, how do we break that sequence we stop acquiescing. Human race, get off your knees. The lion seats no more.
reason which your own children and grandchildren will have to live with. Join us, for goodness sake, and stop serving the psychopaths. There are billions of us at the core of the core of this psychopathic web you would get them in one room. I think I can see a way out of this. Come on, people of the world. Let's go! Tomorrow, they're going to report that yes, I was here and I spoke to maybe three to five thousand Nazis. Und morgen werden Sie genau das berichten, dass ich zu etwa 83 bis 5000 Nazis geredet haben werde. But I look at this crowd and I see the opposite of Nazism. People who want open government. Menschen, die eine offene Regierung wollen. People who want leaders that are not going to lie to them. People who are not leaders who will not make up arbitrary rules and regulations to orchestrate obedience of the population. Wir wollen keine Anführer, die wahllos irgendwelche Regelungen erlassen, um unsere Demut, um unsere Unterwürfigkeit zu erwirken. We want health officials who don't have financial entanglements with the pharmaceutical industry, who are working for us and not big pharma. We want officials who care about our children's health and not about pharmaceutical profits or government control. We want to make sure that we have the government and the government. I look at this crowd, I see all the flags of Europe. I see people of every color. I see people from every nation. 
every religion, all caring about human dignity, about children's health, about political freedom. This is the opposite of Nazism. Oh, God's governments love pandemics. They love pandemics for the same reason they love war. Because it gives them the ability to impose controls on the population that the population would otherwise never accept. They institutions and mechanisms for avoiding and imposing obedience. That's an institution and mechanism that I'll tell you something. It's a mystery to me that all of these big important people like Bill Gates and Tony Fauci have been planning and thinking about this pandemic for decades. Planning it so that we would all be safe when the pandemic finally came. And yet, now that it's here, they don't seem to know what they're talking about. Und wir wissen mittlerweile, dass Leute wie Bill Gates und Anthony Fauci diese Pandemie seit Jahrzehnten geplant haben, die sie jetzt über uns gebracht haben. Und wir wissen inzwischen, dass, wir, dass sie nicht mal erklären können, was die Pandemie sein soll. They cannot give us a PCR test that actually works. They don't have, they have to change the definition of COVID on the death certificates constantly to make it look more and more dangerous. The one thing that they're good at is pumping up fear. Yeah. Sie erfinden diese Zahlen, die wir in der Zeitung lesen, im Fernsehen sehen. Und wenn wir die Zahlen sehen, kommen wir einfach nur in die Angst. 75 years ago, Herman Gehring testified at the Nuremberg trial. And he was asked, how did you make the German people go along with all this? And he said, it's an easy thing. It's not anything to do with Nazism. It has to do with human nature. You can do this in a Nazi regime. You can do it in a socialist regime. You can do it in a communist regime. You can do it in a monarchy and a democracy. The only thing a government needs to make people into slaves is fear. And if you can figure out something to make them scared, Er wurde gefragt, warum haben die Menschen das gemacht in Deutschland? Er hat gesagt, es hat mit Nazitum nichts zu tun. Das kann man im Sozialismus machen, im Kommunismus machen, in Monarchien machen, in Demokratie machen. Es ist die menschliche Natur. Wir müssen die Menschen nur in die Angst bringen und dann folgen sie uns. Because Berlin was the front line against global totalitarianism. Er kam nach Berlin, und das war die Front gegen den Totalitarismus. And today again, Berlin is the front line against global totalitarianism. Bravo! Berlin, the front line against said to the people of Germany, each the United Berliner. Thank <laughs> you.
Sie haben keinen guten Job gemacht, die Gesundheit des Volkes zu schützen. Aber sie haben die Quarantäne genutzt, um 5G in unsere Gemeinden zu bringen. Und sie haben den Anfang geschaffen für eine digitale Währung. Und das ist der Beginn der Sklaverei. Und das ist die Kontrolle. Sie können uns nicht in unserem Verhalten beeinflussen. Und wir alle sehen diese Advertisements. On television, saying 5G is coming to your community. It's going to be a great thing for all of you. It's going to change your lives. It's going to make all of your lives so much better. Und wir sehen, dass 5G überall hingebracht werden soll. Die Fernseher sind voll davon. Die Anzeigen sind voll davon. Die Werbung sagen uns, 5G macht unser Leben besser. And it's very convincing, I have to say. Because I look at those ads and I think that's great. I can hardly wait till it gets here. Und die wollen einfach, dass wir dieses 5G einfach akzeptieren. Und nur, weil ich ein Videospiel dann in 6 Sekunden statt in 16 Sekunden runterladen kann. And is that why they're spending $5 trillion on 5G? Und sie geben Milliarden, mehr Millionen von Dollars aus für 5G. No. The reason is for surveillance and data harvesting. It's not for you and me, it's for Bill Gates, it's for Jeffrey Zuckerberg, and it's for Pete Gates. Well, Bill Gates says that his satellite, his satellite fleet will be able to look at every square inch of the planet 24 hours a day. That's only the beginning. He also will be able to follow you on all of your smart devices, through biometric facial recognition, through your GPS. You think that Alexis is working for you. She isn't working for you, she's working for Bill Gates, spying on you. Und sie nutzen das, so wir uns aufzuspielen hier, mit der Gesichtserkennung. Die ganzen smart Devices, nicht für uns. Das ist nur für die Überwachung und für die Datensammlung. And the, the pandemic is a crisis of convenience for the elites who are dictating these policies. Diese Pandemie kommt der Elite zu Pass, damit sie uns alles diktieren kann, was sie will. It gives them the ability to obliterate the middle class, to destroy the institutions of democracy, to shift all of our wealth from all of us to a handful of billionaires to make themselves rich by impoverishing the rest of us. Und sie nutzen die Pandemie, um uns zu überwachen, um uns zu kontrollieren, komplett zu kontrollieren und um den gesamten Wohlstand von der Bevölkerung zu einer Handvoll weniger aus der Elite zu transferieren. And the only thing between them and our children is this crowd that has come to Berlin. Das Einzige zwischen denen und unseren Kindern ist diese Menge hier in Berlin. Thank you all very much for fighting. Thank you.